Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Speaker. And proposing the last service member standing medal, I have the privilege and responsibility to share the story of the late, great American soldier, Sergeant John Ede of Toledo, Ohio. In 1965, at age 21, he deployed to La Drang Valley, Vietnam, as fire team leader in 2nd Platoon Alpha Company, 2nd Battalion, 7th Air Cavalry Regiment. On November 14th, the single deadliest day for American forces of the war, Sergeant Ede and his team became pinned down by the Viet Cong due to terrible intelligence. By the end of that bloody day and night, he was the only surviving member of his platoon, sustaining shrapnel wounds to his legs, struck by napalm, and shot in the shoulder, abdomen, having been wounded by grenades that affected his walking the rest of his life, and his face terribly wounded, resulting in the loss of his eye, injuries that he dealt with his entire life. But he refused to withdraw, repeatedly exposing himself to the onslaught to hold the southwestern flank. Regrettably, the Department of Defense has yet to appropriately honor his valor and those of other soldiers who gave everything to this country with the Distinguished Service Cross because there were no witnesses to attest to his sheer heroism. I urge my colleagues to support a last service member standing medal that would recognize not just Sergeant Ede, but all other of America's greatest soldiers who continue to fight for their country against enemy forces, even as every one of their squad mates gave their lives. Please support the last service member standing award. I yield back and am very grateful for the time allowed today.